Hey guys, I wanted to show you this secret lock that I built into this nightstand and I'm also going to try to t show you how to uh, build it yourself. You can add it to an existing drawer that you've got in a dresser or nightstand as long as it's the top drawer. Uh, that's really the only thing that's required. So what I do, I've got a push latch on this bottom one. The top drawer is the drawer that won't open, um, and it doesn't have a handle or a push latch. But I grab this little neodymium magnet, and I've got a spot. And it, you can hear that click. That's the magnet uh, releasing the lock. Just reach under this drawer pull it out. You can have your valuables or whatever you need in the drawer. And when you're done, you just pull the magnet off, put it back in whatever spot you've got it in. You can also hide the magnet in a drill hole in a candle or something if you want to hide it. But so these are the parts that you need for the secret lock. And this is the uh, pin the locking pin, it's just a hinge pin that you stick in a hinge of a door. I got four of these for 67 cents, so they're pretty cheap. And this will actually catch the back edge of the drawer, and that's what keeps the drawer from opening. When the magnets sit on top of uh, the nightstand or dresser, it lifts this pin up and releases the drawer. This is the guide. I was going to use a metal washer, but after I put it together, uh, the magnet magnetized all of the metal and stuck the hinge pin to the guide. So I just found this poker chip, drilled some holes in it, and uh, that's working just as well. And I drilled another hole to screw it up into the bottom of the nightstand. And then I've also got this half inch cylinder neodymium magnet. I've got four of these on Amazon for $10. So total the uh, secret locking mechanism will cost you three dollars uh, for each one. So I drew up a schematic of this just so you can get a better idea of what actually goes on. Um, so I've got you need to drill a hole up into the bottom uh, of the top board of your nightstand or dresser or whatever you're going to use this on and you'll need you'll need to either be able to pull out your drawer or have access through the back of the dresser or nightstand uh, so that you can mark the back edge of your drawer and then drill the hole uh, where you need it and I've got an inch and a half of material here most people are only going to be have half of that so three quarters of an inch um, so I'll go over three quarters of an inch so so that most people will know what to do uh, you'll drill a half inch up and the head of your locking pin will go up into there. You'll have a half inch of movement um, so that the pin can drop down and catch the back edge of the drawer. You'll have a quarter inch of wood so that gives you the magnet can only pull from about three quarters of an inch to an inch away from the pin so when it's dropped uh, at that point it's about three quarters of an inch away from the magnet when it's set on top of the nightstand and you don't want to go much further than that um, and then you'll have to cut your pin to length you want it to hang over the uh, back edge of the drawer by I would say at least a quarter of an inch so that it catches well so yeah guys that's the secret drawer lock and I will give you one more demonstration of it actually working and I'll show you that the drawer does not open if you do not have the magnet in the right position. And it's pretty easy to find. These are strong magnets. Works every time.